This is Maria Lorena Lehman with Sensing Architecture. And today we're going to discuss the advancements of architectural presentation methods and what they reveal. So in other words, when you as an architect are designing, what is it that your drawings, renderings, or cave 3D immersive tools are telling you? First, we'll start with the 2D CAD drawing. With 2D CAD drawings, you can typically tell things like location, dimension of objects, scale of objects, the overall design balance, and composition. 2D CAD drawings are great for construction documents and for mirroring back what your design will look like from a balance or composition standpoint. But to take things to the next level in terms of presenting or communicating ideas and creating images that have more information within them, you can turn to renderings and animations. Such 3D virtual renderings and animations can reveal things like materiality, lighting, acoustics, and other types of simulations which can mirror sensory attributes that a particular architecture might have. Still renderings or animations are great for presentations with clients or for communicating with your own design team. But progressing right along, we have CAVE 3D Immersive Tools. And what this is, is when you can take a rendering or animation and project it in a cave, which would be an immersive projection, where you and a client perhaps might be standing within a four-walled room, which would project this immersive designed environment, which you've rendered. And within this projected environment, you might be able to extract issues like client emotions, stress, or orientation levels. So immersive CAD tools allow you to extract more from the dialogue or the language of your design. So when you're designing, look into aspects like the emotive headset or cave immersive projections, which can help you to extract on the fly what your clients are thinking or feeling as they're experiencing your architecture in virtual form. You can extract aspects like what emotions are they having while they're experiencing this architecture? What is their stress level while they're experiencing this architecture? And how are they oriented? Do they feel lost or do they know where they are at all times? So with different ways of visualizing architecture, keep in mind that you can extract different bits of information. With 2D CAD drawings, you can extract location, dimension, scale, balance, and composition. With renderings and animations, you can extract sensory information like materiality, lighting of objects, acoustics, and other types of simulations. And with CAVE 3D immersive tools, you can begin to extract information in real time as your client or you experience this virtual architectural simulation or representation. You can extract emotions, stress levels, or even orientation on the fly. Thank you for watching and listening. This is Maria Lorena Lehman with Sensing Architecture.